Okay. A small video on how to use a test light to find an ignition problem. What you need is a test light and a car that don't run right, which we have both. Ignition crank. <laughs> Okay, now we know the engine's missing. Now, but we want to know which cylinders it's missing on. We want to do it quick and easy because we're poor. We don't have all the fancy tools they have at the shops. So we get a test light. Make sure we have an old set of spark plug wires that we're going to throw away anyway to do it this way. And I'll show you how it's done. Hook your test light to ground. Hold it in your hand, of course. Start the engine if it'll start again. running on two cylinders according to my test which it's a good thing it's a Ford because a Chevy won't run on two cylinders they have to have three but I've been told through the years that a Ford will run on any two and this one is I don't think it's got any problems, but I did put this engine in this car nine years ago and it did run fine after I got done with the wiring, but of course not now. So do the easy stuff first. Okay, so we know it's not the distributor cap, which I didn't think it was anyway. Now, I have a set of plugs for it. We'll do that next. Turn you guys off for a minute, because you've seen people put plugs in before, at least I hope. Okay, now, new spark plugs, new distributor cap and rotor. One more really, really bad wire. Good enough for our test purposes this time, I think. Alright. Round your test light out again. Start your engine. See what happens. Fuel there. Okay, in order to start this engine, I need to hook up the computer. Turn 
turn on the computer. And Better, but not fixed yet. Okay, next test. I don't understand why I have six cylinders that aren't hitting. And I got spark to them. Well, next thing means we have our test light in our hand. Test wiring. We can make sure we've got power to our injectors. It's possible something happened to them. Power to the injector. Power through the injector. Next, I'm going to put on a set of wires. So next time you see the engine, it'll have new wires on it. I'm not going to show you that either, because you know how to put wires on. Okay, now we're going to start it up with the new wires. See if it makes a difference. Totally new ignition system. Problem's gotta be in the fuel system. <laughs> 